you are here. Sorry, I'm rather distracted. I'm. It's this whole phone thing. I. It it just it sucks me in. I can't get off of the social media stuff that all the kids are on these days. I. I it's from Snapchatting to Facebooking to well all sorts of I don't. Whoa. <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> The term is matching law. And if you know what the matching law means, you'll understand why that whole intro was hilarious. Um, no, really, matching law is about an allocation of responses, so it's really a procedure for studying choice. When you have two alternatives, or more, then matching law uh, talks about how your rate of responding will be distributed across those choice alternatives, and making sure that that dis distribution matches the rates of reinforcement on each alternative. And it's not perfect, and it's not explanatory. It's not explanatory. This is what an example of matching law is when you're driving down the road and then your text goes off and you read your text. So for some reason, this seems to be more reinforcing than, than, than this. So which is odd to me because this keeps you alive and this keeps you informed. So I think I would rather be alive than informed, but it doesn't seem to work that way in practice. Uh, deciding to do homework versus going to play a video game.